we'll start with this class here. So this is the class. So this is a uh, baby class, mm -hmm. ages uh, two and a half to three years. Yes. They are, uh, they are around uh, 20, 25, but we have over 40, so we break them into two classes mm -hmm. so, so that the teacher can reach out to them. One of the things we are emphasizing, in as much as we are doing it as a ministry, but we want to exhibit some excellence. Mm -hmm. So that's why we are hiring people who are trained. We, uh, we want to make sure that we are up to the standards of the government mm -hmm. and we yield up to all the requirements of the Ministry of Education in our nation. And because I see that you got still some work to do because when it's raining, we can see that some rains may seep in. Yeah. Uh, in here, so you got quite a lot of uh, work to do uh, to, to clean up, and then the windows there. You haven't put the windows as well. Uh, we can see that in whichever capacity you can help, it may be just a ten dollar, it may be just a five dollars to just make these schools and classes work properly. So as you watch this video uh, uh, on Christ Passion Evangelistic Network uh, website, we, we encourage you to respond. You know, we encourage you to pray. These are our friends, and these are kids the future of these nations and the future of Africa and uh, I believe we can do much we're just gonna go to the other class yeah. yeah this is uh, in uh, this is uh, another class another baby class class B and uh, the reason for seeing it is temporary because when we are renting out they don't allow us to build permanent buildings so that's why it is like this and when we opened up actually it was a blessing we got many kids and we could not fit them in the i mean we did have space so we asked the landlord just to put up a temporary structure but our prayer is that God will help us to buy land and then uh, put up proper structures which are not uh, just for a short while. Structures that are going to last for long. Go into the next class here. The kids right now, they are in their classes right now. And uh, they are learning. The kids are following all over. But here, these, guys, these kids, so what are they doing right now? Are they doing an assignment? Yeah. Doing, uh, I see they're doing math. Yes. So far, this is one of the rooms we have where we uh, we hold the class. The class. Mm -hmm. And then there is another one here. Yes. Top class. Top class. Mm -hmm. and as you can see with the light, we don't have the proper light with the camera. But I hope you can see, so this is their top class now. As you can see, obviously, it's not very conducive uh, uh, because you got another class just right here, uh, just separated by plywood. Uh, so obviously they got quite a lot of uh, uh, things they need to do. At uh, this school where the kids now, they are having lunch and I want you to see as they line up. They are all lined up trying to get uh, some food. Uh, so they don't only teach them, they even provide some food for them, which is very, very nice and I like it. So they got uh, some beans and that, uh, uh, what is this? That is Ugali, posho, posho and this is posho. So that is posho and rice. Posho and rice. Yes.
we're going to show you the women, uh, uh, the, the women empowerment program, and most of these women they are living with HIV and AIDS. So. We're